so let's go ahead and uh, pop the meeting to order. It's the more time to select for here. We're in Monday, July 17th um, at School Street in the John Cogan meeting room. So uh, to start with the agenda, we have um, general public comments. So I guess there's probably a few people for that. Did this review here first or? I was not here first. I think you were here first. Hi. Okay. Um, I just touched base with seven, so I think I know what is happening with the 911 address, but that's yes. okay. apparently the last thing that's holding us up, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't have anything else for me. We thought, like the lawyer told me last week, he's like, okay, you should be good to go. Karen's going to do the permit. And then she said, actually, you need, I actually need the E911 paperwork. Right. So then I emailed Stefan, and then I had, it's already been paid for a year ago, or last September. So she had all of that, and then she sent the paperwork that she had gotten last September to him. So he has it now. And I'm just looking to see, have the board approve a road name, because it needs a road name. And the road name they came up with is Treehouse Lane. There's nothing in Vermont with that, uh, with that name. I'm just looking for the approval of the board for that name, and then I'm going to Email the statements. All in favor? All aye. Second, aye. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So we, we got it taken care of. Okay. You know, what the actual address is going to be? Like, not one or two, but. No, it'll, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I have, I wheeled it out and I got to contact the E911 board from the state. Well, which makes sure my street name basically. Yeah, yeah, the street name was the, the big snag to get it going. Yeah, it be deemed the private road or anything like that? Yeah, it'll, it'll be, okay. it'll be okay. private, but its name's going to be Treehouse Lane. Okay, thank you. Pete, can you forward it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, everybody. See you later. Bye. All right, so today's for you next for the public comments. I just have a question. Um, you know, I, the, the road crew's done a fantastic job on River Road over in Moortown. Um, and really great job getting that. Once the water receded, they got the mud taken care of, and it's great. But there were a fair number of Moortown residents that flooded. Um, you know, luckily the village was spared. But I just wondered if we could, if the town could help out um, with the residents over there. I think. At this point, since it was last week, it seems like most folks have gotten a lot of the stuff that was flooded and is ruined out. Now they just have large piles of wet, even wetter from the rain garbage that I'm wondering, can we get a dumpster? Can we get the town crew to pick that up and can we coordinate with Waterbury? Um, that was my question was just what, you know, can we do something sure. as a town for those folks? Yeah, I think, uh, and thank you for bringing that to our attention. I know you sent this email and um, such, that I think absolutely we can um, help out. Um, why don't you just, uh, in, in the morning, Sasha, if you could um, reach out to um, Casella, I guess probably that's who's going to do most of the dumpsters now. Uh, and do you have an idea where a dumpster would the best place for one to be? In front of my house. <laughs> Terra sign right off River Road. Is that um, is there a big enough area to put it? Yeah. Right up where are you? Terra sign. Although that, there's many houses yeah, yeah. For down down further for me that are going to need help for sure. So, no. Step on you guys. Could that be um, central? I just want to make it uh, known that. If we plan on trying to get reimbursed at all from FEMA for it, it has to be placed somewhere in the town owned property or right of way. Okay. All right. I just, I would, no, 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 thank you. I appreciate that. So we just put it beside the road somewhere in near your house or in that area. Um, and then, Martin, I know you guys are out uh, stressed or whatever, but. If we had a day next week, could we spend a half a day on with the loader over there? We can grab up and throw it into a dumpster. Yeah, I'll be coordinating trying to get the loader to the river road at some point. Anyways, we need to remove that silt that is 
um, on the river road where it flooded. Certain areas where the current <clears throat> was moving, it uh, didn't um, sift out, but where it was uh, not moving rapidly, it left in some places up to like four to six inches of silt and sediment. So in the very worst spots, I've pushed it off to the side. But we've got to go down with the grader, bring it out, scoop it with the loader, haul it off. Um, obviously going to lose a fair amount of decent material as well. It's going to mix in with it. Um, all the guardrails may need cleaning. All the ditches will need to be redug. I mean, literally, I stepped in like probably eight inches of silt sediment in a ditch, mm -hmm. trying to cut a tree out of the way. It's so you'll start that <clears throat> next week. Uh, possibly even this week, but I mean, we can try to coordinate something. I, I so are, are we looking at like just piles of stuff to scoop up and put in a dumpster or is it it looks like it i, mean, I haven't seen anything necessarily like on the side of the road but you have to go up terrace to see it down terrace down terrace mm -hmm. you yeah. Go, go, like barrows yeah you're, you're, yeah oh, mm -hmm. okay you're on the riverside mm -hmm. that's that's the came of that oh, that's good. No. no i think it was just like a basement yeah, yeah. Oh, for ground level I just have a couple, I mean, first of all, it sounds like maybe more than one dumpster is necessary. Oh, for sure. So the Barrows, was, yeah. the Barrows just, house, I mean, yeah, probably yeah. could go into. Uh, I'm just wondering if there was, you know, two dumpsters uh, low, centrally located, you know, we found a spot. So, I mean, there must be some stuff that some of the folks could bring and throw in the dumpster, mm -hmm. or is it all need to be picked up by the machine? Because that way they could start getting rid of some of the stuff. Yeah, the stuff that I have has been sitting outside in the rain for days. Yeah. Since Wednesday, probably. Wednesday, Thursday. It'd be nice if we could segregate any um, scrap metal. If there's any metal in it, it could go for recycle rather than just load the landfills. With, you know, I, I don't know what yeah. exactly you have. I have a furniture. furniture. Yeah. So, so I wonder if I thought people could pick stuff up and bring it to the dumpster if they were centrally located. I mean, Danny is, and her, his brother yeah. are just like moving things yeah. out like oh, crazy. And they, I don't know. Uh, it I don't may know. almost be easier. I'm not sure where Casella is taking this. I'm assuming to one of their um, their dump in where is it? Uh, probably, probably the uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely transfer station. Be just as easy if we're going to actually use the loader to scoop it, put it in one of our trucks, and bring it up straight because it will take absolutely no time to load a dumpster. So that, was, yeah. that would just be easier to use <clears throat> dumpster. If, 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 if I could be a phone number as a contact, and if people wanted to call me and say, you can just steer them towards me and I'll drive around and I'll kind of get a take a survey of because I'm sure there's where, other people too. Where it is, is and yeah, and no, put it back to the highway apartment that's based on that. Type thing, right? Groundwater yeah. saturation and if I know the dudes have a big pile that by our house on Warden Brook. I can yeah. check up the Ward Brook people. Yeah. That might be a good location somewhere near the Dudes property that the Ward Brook people could come down. I'm sure there's stuff up there. Yeah. So if I can give a shell and a home phone number to everybody. Um, and we can figure out maybe even a dumpster and noise and water in the trucks. Because when people have immediate stuff they need to get rid of. I think you missed what Robin said you guys were talking about. Robin was going to go and do a survey of everything, see how much was reported to Mark, and then coordinate whether it be trucks or dumpsters or both. Right. Take a look at and see what we got. I mean, I can snap some photos and fire them off and Mark will say, you know, here's this. I'll send you a picture. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Denise, yeah, why don't you pass your contacts, uh, give them a paper, uh, Robinson, and you, they can write their contacts okay. and names down. Right here. Yeah, it's on there. Okay. Can you no, tell us what numbers are responsible? I will. What's that? Can you tell us what numbers I will, yeah. Okay. Oh, are you signed in? Yeah. Okay, so is it there already? I'll put my phone number there. Okay, yeah. I'll just... 
And then Robin, why don't you give me your name and number yeah. and, then, and then and Denise or people there want to pass that on, let them know that okay. um, Robin will be out in the next day or two. Okay. Robin, you can get that tomorrow, can you? Yes, if you want to call me and tell me where the stuff is, I certainly will go out and check for it. And then I'll just kind of go around our area, and then if you guys are out around anywhere and you see any, just give, give it a heads up. I, I think it right out of the start <clears> at <throat> um, River Road, uh, the, the, the new pavement that gets on. Yeah. Some places on the right, but there was some nice cars or whatever in the um, right. cars. I don't think there's a lot of crap, I don't know. But so you know, there all the time. Wallace Barrow yeah. is the one you're thinking. Is Barrow's that yeah. one? Um, also, that repeated. You guys can, you know, tell everybody maybe when you see them, you know, contact two one one so you can get all the stuff started to try to get some help from FEMA. Mm -hmm. That'll, you know, that can can help you along. Yeah, yeah. I'm meeting with them tomorrow. Okay. Thank perfect. you. Perfect. Yeah, and show. Uh, yeah, so what's your address in Paris? Twenty seven. It's the first house on the left. Um, and what's your name? Diane. 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 Do it all or something. Okay. Yeah, it was all. Yeah, I only, you know, it's so you just going to keep track of everything. Yeah, track. there was an email this morning from Cheryl in about yeah, tracking it all and, and something. All right, so why don't we go ahead, uh, Denise, anything else or Mrs. No. Dragos. Diane Dragos. Okay. Good, well, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank thanks. Thanks, guys. Yeah, there was a thing by the state has the debris guide. Yes. I don't know, Denise, have you seen that? It went through a ton of about 250 people or something. They sent it to you. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'm not. Sasha yeah. sent it out to you. Yeah. 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 It tells you all about it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Ray, why don't you step up and um, let us know what's going on with storm water again? I'm glad that you were there, okay, over there. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, we did we did well, you know. Yeah. Uh, compared to most people. Uh, yeah, we were just cooking out to my beer or anywhere for a day and a half, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, you couldn't get to uh, to the uh, to the bar. No. The bar it out. They took it pretty hard. Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The water level was to the top of the bar. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so yeah, they <sighs> Off. But, uh, anyways, I just wanted to go over the project a little bit. Uh, they started the construction um, June 22nd on the same field that's up in the field out there. Um, and uh, they got those completed. Um, had a couple issues with the sand, they had to go back and do one. And they used the used the wrong sand. Uh, but we got this right now. And actually, uh, they're a pretty good crew, you know. They're a younger crew, but they, they're trying. Um, I think they have every chance to do a really good job. You know, a couple of things I pointed out to them, they went back and fixed real uh, quickly. You know? Yeah. Uh, so they did that. Uh, they've been working on. Uh, they started the line on the uh, south side of the school, did the tie-in, did the first catch basin, and then, and then the storm came. So they pretty much lost last week. But they're back to work over there today, and they expect to be here. Um, you know, barring any another emergency, but uh, they expect to be here to you know to the end. Um, so it looks like right now uh, they're going to they're going to finish down that side of the school, and then they're going to start over here on the parking lot drainage uh, next week. It looks like, and they'll do that going across the school and tie that all in um, the pond will be probably the last thing they do at this point. Uh, so, but uh, I fully expect them to be out of the school and parking lot areas by the time school starts at this point. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, they really yeah, uh, look like they're keeping uh, it clean and neat site. Yeah. I'd say that. Yeah. Um, they're bringing more people in tomorrow. It's been a pretty small crew up to this point. They're ready to put the hammer down now and get doing other things. So. Do they have um, other drops going on now? Uh, they had some, you know, they had some repair work, you know, for some cows yeah. last week. And, uh, they finished up their uh, stormwater uh, 
project at the Leary County. But that's all that. So, uh, they got a couple of things going on in Tiffany County, but not much. So, so this is their thing. Good. Yeah, so they're doing well. I'm pleasantly surprised. Great. Right. And pleased. So, um, another thing that came up, though, and I'm not sure what, what it is. It's not a way to get work, but there is, there is water bubbling on this side of the sidewalk. Right about where the Wartown entrance sign is. I walked down and looked at it today. And it's, it's, it's a small, it's almost like a sump pump because it runs and stops, runs and stops. So, and this was later on uh, in the afternoon that I noticed this. And I'm not sure, do you know anything in that area? That I don't, happened? but it's been doing it um, every spring since we put the sidewalk in. I've noticed it a couple times. So I let him know that because I was coming down at the very end of the season and water was coming up out of the, oh. the edge of the sidewalk. There. Yeah, Is there a sun pump in one of the houses? What's that? Sure, I went to the dirt of the spring somewhere in there. Oh. I mean, that's a, it's, it's weird. It's like it's not a continual flow. It will stop. Then oh. It's almost like a pump starts up. So. Could it be from some, uh, the basement? Of, isn't that uh, who's up? That's, uh, I don't think it's your I think the church is up there. There's a drain coming out of the church, but it's on the other uh, side. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was going to ask, you know, if you want, they have a big head somebody here. You know, that I can probably well, get to the bottom of this unless the motor crew wants to. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they got enough. I don't think it would be a huge expense. You know, I'm going to try to figure out what it is. Hey, why don't you just look into it and see? You know, I need to open a can of worms that we get into. Uh, you know, something too extensive, but uh, yeah, I mean, it might be. Is it doing any damage, or it's just it eventually will? I thought it's under the sidewalk slightly, like it, it undermines it a teeny bit. We put material in, it's oh, also a really strange thing, but uh, I don't know if they're related. Um, out here on the edge of the uh, wall where it drops off extremely wet, and I don't know if it has anything to do with the old clerk's office um it could still be i don't know i personally don't know if septic and all that was removed when that was torn down since we tore it down i know we didn't take the septic tank out or uh, anything like that but uh, there's a really wet spot i'm hoping when the drainage goes in the pond it would rectify that or we can at least drain it to that but um it's yeah a little bit of a mystery. Yeah. It's a bit of a mystery. And, yeah. You know, let it go or... or yeah. Yeah. It's, it's starting to undermine the sidewalk or potential. Uh, we should address it. I think we need to look at it at least. Yeah. And yeah. if we really hate what we see, then we can just bury it. Yeah. Right. So, forget it. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, like, so we don't like the rock on the outside. Yeah. It was the rock and the forage pipe. I think it will stay on the outside of the sidewalk. Okay. It looks like it's underneath the sidewalk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll pack it in. Yeah, we'll pack it in. So, so I just had to add to Ray's comment about the food. They were, uh, they stopped out in the morning, I think, after the major flood and offered their help to the, you know, to the towns that they would have. So they were good. I just, I already lined up a few people, so I didn't want to go too big, but yeah, yeah they seemed like a really good crew. Oh, so, well, that's nice. Good. Yeah. Any questions from Ray? Comments? Concerns? You miss us? <laughs> well, yeah, he's been here for four meetings. I think it's a big dog, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so if not, we'll, uh, we might as well move ahead and uh, we have Mr. Uh, Cameron. Martin. <laughs> Extremely lucky that it was there. Um, 
Otherwise, we would not have been any help to anybody until Wednesday morning, which is the first time that I got eyes on the damage. Um, luckily, Sean had some house issues that he had to deal with, so he had gone home um, before things got impassable. Um, so he worked uh, copious amounts of hours Monday and Tuesday just with the excavator. Uh, either rectifying problems or getting things back open so people could get out. So uh, that was a huge break for us. Um, and then Wednesday, we hit it pretty hard. We were able to get everybody out. The only person is um, McGibbons Road over the mountain, which has been attacked in the morning. Um, to get him a little more passable, if you want a pickup truck, you might make it. Class four. Um, so, it's, uh, other than that, I'm trying to kind of hold back and not do too much until FEMA gets eyes on it. I mean, we've, right. we've got everything, and I've read the decree, and they want to see it in rough shape. Obviously, we filled um, tons of holes and gullies that were unsafe um, with three and a half inch dense grade um, product. Um, so we're in, I guess, I wouldn't say decent shape, but we're better than some, I guess. Yeah, um, and I know you guys have done a good job documenting the Yeah, lots of pictures and stuff, but pictures really do no justice to yeah. the damage. You know what I mean? Like you can see in the picture, and you're like, oh, that so bad. See it in real life, and you're like, holy crap, that's, um, it's awful, but yeah, we're documenting um, as we go. Um, I, was, I spoke to Tom about class fours. I just kind of need some guidance as to how um, extensive we're going to get on um, trying to fix them. We're obviously, uh, FEMA wasn't much help with class fours, I believe, during our reading. So I think we've got to do maybe the minimum and then. If they're going to pay something, then we go back and maybe do a little better job. But we have some culverts we have to set, reset, or replace, or that kind of stuff. But uh, kind of speaking more material wise, what we put down. So it's just A and B, and it's both. Both of them. Both, yes. Um, so, yeah, so I thought you were going to continue with that thought. Is, yeah. Get them to you know passable, yeah. Um, but you know, decent. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to like, walk away from anybody that's in you know trying to right now. Exactly. Yeah. Um, want to make sure that people are comfortable yeah. passing through what they are. But to do the, um, I've got to actually. So I've had a few different truckers like um, Barrett's. I turned away tomorrow just because. We're in the next stages to basically start putting down uh, top coat material. So I really don't want to do that until FEMA, you know, gets an eye on it, gives us uh, guidelines of what they want or, or what they're going to pay for. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of going to hurry up and wait <coughs> on that whole side of town. And then we have Lover's Lane, which is its own animal. It's, uh, yeah, it's completely active to look at the and yeah. stuff. And uh, it's not there, so it's not right. there. It's, uh, I have had discussions with people on the road and the landowner. To me, if you're going to sink some money into the road, it makes more sense to maybe drill and blast the ledge and shift the road over and build yourself a road on the ledge rather than fix the uh, erosion. Um, uh, Jared Borg from the state, I asked him to take a look at it. He said, you're probably looking at six figures to fix it. So to fix it or do the blasting? To fix it. it. Um, I can't believe that blasting, and, you know, you basically blast the rock, the rock will go in the hole <laughs> and build the road on lead that you know is going to be there for Right. The rest of the time, so still not cheap. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what fee. What's the landowner said? Landowner is fine with us shifting. I mean, I think we'd have to do obviously an easement or something, uh, land agreement or yeah. something. But 
was it like no way or yeah no no very agreeable um, to doing that so this is a past John Lawson's old house in no, no. did so well before that so coming in from room two room yeah the only yeah, the only v, uh, passenger vehicle side is route two um, and you go where we uh, do boys did all the work that flooded but held thankfully um, and you go up around the corner and it's uh, you know, the next the first garden house basically oh yeah right like there it just slumped right into the water came way out there oh. and then when the water receded it just slumped down a bit so do you think uh, uh, have you thought about donating on the bridge and closing that road and just well you know, when somebody says six figures, yeah, you have to start wondering if maybe a new bridge would be cheaper than that, and you still have yeah. a dead end road, but right. you have, you know, no. before you. Yeah, I didn't know this the other day. I was in there myself. I was like, would that bridge be intact now? <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, the bridge was fine. I mean, no, I mean, if, it, if there was a new bridge there, the one that's there is. The old one's fine. So well, I mean, yeah, it's just condemned, I guess, for deterioration. I'm guessing. Yeah, you know, yeah. it was not suitable for vehicles, right. but it could, it could have been fixed, but it was going to be a couple hundred thousand dollars fixed. So now it made it make sense to, right. you know. So we will look for all yeah. options on that, but meanwhile, I have not put barricades up on the road because it is passable. I've reached out to all homeowners and have basically said um, I'm reluctant to close it because they're going to be landlocked if I do that. Um, but I'm also not 100% um, sure that the rest of it couldn't go um, at any time. So I told them, like, you know, limit heavy trucks, fuel oil. You know that type of stuff. I wouldn't have put one of my guys across it with a dump truck right now. So um, it's pretty sketchy. I wouldn't go over in my pickup when it's not. Hmm. So, all right. So, so yeah, it's like it's. So I think that fix could be more than everything in Wardbrook and Heron Brook combined. Actually, yeah. but. What do you what do you think that I have more do you think you're gonna be putting more on our box culverts in? Um, I meet Thursday morning with Jerry Moore, the stream alterations engineer. He'll be the first contact for that of what I believe that's what they're gonna want. I'm not sure where they're gonna if they're gonna draw a hard line again, but yeah, that's it's just basically slightly above the last box culvert. So, yeah. so yeah. it's and the, and the one by Campy's. Yeah, same thing. They need yeah. another place no. for it. No. Yeah, Sean, yeah, you get Remix Culver, and then you have Sean's Culver between Harry Brook and Sean's place that they're yeah. both notorious for yeah. not handling. And it, and it comes down to debris, is what it is. It's logs, like yeah. log land debris coming down and jamming into the culverts. And so box culver is definitely going to stay. But it doesn't mean that's not going to go around it and wash the right. Which is what happened. Right. I think we saw. Yeah. So I think it was a 72 inch culvert that ended up downstream. So we put two four foot culverts in. It's not great. It's passable. It's definitely a temporary fix. It needs to be stressed before winter. Um, I don't know if anything really moves that fast, but hopefully. Um, yeah, same same as lovers land. I mean that needs to be addressed before yeah. winter. So I mean, just a question. I mean, would there be any scenario where the bridge could be checked and it could be just temporary for the homeowners? You know, and you know, uh, yeah, I mean, you, know, you know, I don't know because you're saying you can't drive. There's a whole lot of metal under the bridge. No. Okay. But they may be able to put. A temporary bridge oh, or maybe it will put some struts in or something. Or something. I mean, maybe that's a quicker yeah. fix somehow. So, and then, because the other thing is going to take 
days and it's oh, at least six children or yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. at least. I mean that's not we'll buy my house from six in the morning till six. Oh, it's not even like the work it probably seems like, but it's uh, <clears throat> a little bit stressful. A lot of really hard starting in. One thing we're going to get the other guy is another thing when you're managing with contractors and yeah. trying to keep everything moving. It's and then there's soft spots everywhere after you do that. Yeah, I mean, you're talking drive the truck, you know, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. job. Residents have been <clears throat> amazing as well, so. Good. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, if you need anything, you can frankly reach out to me. I want to make sure Jared's going to let you clean up any of the streams, action things on this. Yeah, well, we yeah, got us. We got to go You like a proud order. Yeah, but it's a dive. 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 It's a Oh, yeah, I mean, we so I live up right, right by Ray's house. Right? I'm, I'm more than happy. I'm I'm right right there. There. I mean, it used to be a lot of way back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Lower than yeah. 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 we need. I could honestly say, I'm going to guess if you did it within the first five minutes after this one, there will probably would have been a word said. Now yeah. it's probably back to right. you know, all the cities. Yeah. 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 Screen definitely is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm glad I'm going to get a lot of the work. It's now it's kind of like pointing right at here. It's pointing right at your house. Yeah, oh, yeah. So it's a big corner right here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be, we'll be doing something about that. Yeah. I'm sure you will. I don't know what we're going to do, but. So that's where I'm going to have a permanent job. Yeah, uh, get the shit out of there. I don't, um, things are going to go a little slower, I guess, now. I'm going to slow down a little bit as far as. Uh, Drivers <laughs> and stuff, like I said, the trucks are. They have a couple trucks running tomorrow, but not the, the whole uh, contingent until it's seen. Um, just trying to get the glass floors um, passable. And then it'll probably be just the road crew trying to. But we'll be there, obviously, until winter. We won't be. The other stuff that was scheduled will just get pushed back. Push back. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, no, I think we're okay. Thank you for saying that. Well, certainly you know what. I think snow would be easier. There's a lot in there. But a lot of yeah. Any other questions, concerns for um, Martin? For Stefan? Ray, you out of here? Yeah. We need to help managing contractors or whatever. When it comes down to the corporate work or whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, she got a big advantage for us. And the stuff out here is wrong. Yep, All right. See you later. So, do you have anything else? Um, so, I, uh, and then going along during the, uh, the flooding and such, I was out and about trying to, you know, just make sure that the buildings are safe, keep on top of monitoring it, you know, checking, see if the water is ever going to go down on the other side. I put in a substantial amount of time doing that under emergency management, and I wasn't sure um, if and or where um, I could get some compensation for that. I don't know um, exactly what, what the protocol would even be for that. I didn't realize before this that it's just kind of a their position. Right, so I mean, that's, those are the fire chief and that's what that, that, um, that is. So to begin with, what I did for your, your time is Stefan had put in, um, I think 31 hours, 30, 38, 38 hours, hours, 30 hours of road crew time, and I think 28 hours, is that something or not? I think it was 31. 31 and a half hours of um, emergency management. Obviously, we, we don't have um, emergency management budget. We look at that, it's 
the fire department thing, it's that's a, a volunteer job. But um, first reminding you, we, we do pay a stipend of fifteen hundred dollars for that. But also we want to make the guy fit or try to pull. So with the hours it was on uh, on Monday he put in three and a half hours. So to make full for the that day, give him six and a half hours, pay him six and a half hours of uh, emergency management to make up for the six and a half that he did on which the six and a half not working in the road. Not working. Not working. Right. right. And on Tuesday, he didn't work any hours on the road crew. So we paid him 10 hours of that emergency management time. So there's 20 years. So that's 16 uh, and a half hours of paid emergency management time. Okay. And so that, at any extent, at the end of the week, when he was working longer days to get his overtime. Okay. Right. So that he gets, I think it was about 14 and a half hours of time or whatever it is. How it work? No, no, it's not working. So anyway, so add, what you did is add, to make sure your, your days were full. Right. And so you were like, yeah, we're getting the overtime. And then it came out, like I said, it was um, 16 and a half, I think we gave him more, or it was reimbursed for. So we left another 14 or 14 and a half hours. We're putting that through the FEMA, okay, with the management to see if we can get reimbursed for that. Okay. And if we do, we should expect to get reimbursed at least 75%. And I really think we will. Um, minimum 75%, but probably the 88, total 88%. And then we would pass that on to you. Okay. So do you then get it over time? But no, he does get it over time. Well, he works, he works 68 hours, so. No, he's going to get everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just the, the, the remainder balance we're waiting to get. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're going to put that remaining balance in future weeks from the, the, the board of the I mean, time. It'd be better if we can get the money. No, let's just wait on the. Uh, okay. I think that will work out. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I think yeah. yeah. it's fair. And it's yeah, no, that sounds absolutely fair. And probably out better because his taxes will be better if we can get it in the Making sure you weren't getting, you know, I had said on the email, put it 40, but then when I was speaking to uh, Cheryl Lynn and just making it 40, you still got screwed out of the first part, you know, the overtime. Yeah. It's actually really bad. Right, right. Yeah. So the reason I threw it in the separate number is I was thinking probably, you know, with the FEMA and stuff, like, I wasn't sure how it was going to work. That's why I assumed mm -hmm. it the way I did. No, so I think that if you're happy with that, um, you know, you'll be paid if, Full week plus the old time you got, and the uh, 16 and a half hours, or whatever that number is, you know, right. is um, the potential pretty much you get right. right now. Just be paid out on a separate check in itself. And we had some travel time too, oh, okay. and the plus I paid, or we um, it was a hundred and something miles of travel. For the yeah, for the emergency. It was a, well, there was a the emergency and then you used it for the truck for the uh where I went. Right. So I had her pay you for both of those. Oh, okay. Good. Perfect. So one thing I was thinking about, um and we'll submit the the the, the mileage for this reimbursement too, but we are paying. Right. I wonder if like um going forward. Like we've done, you know, like we're doing, we have some uh, annual budget that we're just funding, you know, um, what is it that we put fire? A reserve fund. of a survey thing. We, yeah, like a reserve fund. Yeah. I wonder if we have the next year when we do the budget, if we should have something for, you know, emergency management, you know, as a line item. And if it gets used, it gets used. If it doesn't get used, all the better. So, you know, it'll be, you know, it'll be something we can use it for. So if there's something like a big event, you know, maybe it's in the budget a hundred dollars a year, and then if something happens every ten years, you know, I mean, something for five hundred or something. So if there is a well, yeah, as long as we, if we did it like that, we'd want to uh, do an article with it so that way it was one line item because we don't want to have it go away. Oh, right, 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 right. Something like um, that. 
I think it could. Like, thought was if we needed to, we could, you know, pay you out of the special smoke board salary fund that we have. Yeah. Um, but I think let's just see what FEMA does. I think that'll take care of it. Well, maybe yeah, yeah, well, we have to stop. But it. that's the idea. Put something, something that has something in there. We have to do an article and to put it in there. I mean, you know, the more you need to do the minimum, maybe 2500 bucks. Yeah, something like that. Just started. Yeah. Um, so that way, if you have to all of a sudden, you know, there's someone that just really had a shit kicked out of them and you need to buy them something, you know, you could buy, you know, whatever, family, something, whatever. Yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah, they all some of them are discretionary. Well, you can lie down the dumpsters or something. Right, exactly. Or the emergency, you know, <laughs> uh, hazards, hazard fund or something. But that's uh, probably not a bad idea. You brought up the idea of naming it kind of smart. Uh, and so, yeah, there was one that I was coming home like, uh, like on our Thursday night, was when we were going to have another round of storms just this past yeah. week, right after the flood. And, yeah. and Stefan was there on by when we were jacking along right there. And the truck with the lights going and everything. So I go, hey, what's going on? And I said, there was a wire down there. And he's waiting for the amount of power. Then I go, oh my God. So then I drive down our road and there's a tree down. And so I call him and I go, oh, God, I'm just parking here and walking. And it turns out it was kind of hanging on the wire. So, anyways, we're talking. I said, well, Green Mountain Power is going to come and look at both of these. Just put some cones up and go home and you fry. No, I wasn't expecting them to be quite as. I waited an hour and a half, and they still didn't have any. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a whole area. Yeah, I think they were over on the river over there. Yeah, yeah, tree yeah. down there, too. Yeah. They came to. We got stepped on the black from, 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 I think it was Thursday. Yeah, we got stepped coming back in like 10 30, 11 at night, coming back from St. Mike's. Yeah, do when they were doing a tree over there. Yeah. Probably about the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I lost a window. I lost the window. Yeah, it's not a yeah. 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 We had a few different wires down from fire cones. That well, it's just that once you get that saturated brown, we are a little weird. We're going to go yeah. still. Like two, you know, two, tonight and yeah. tomorrow, it's supposed to rain some, but the ground's so saturated that yeah. the concern becomes landslides. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and run from the country. Yes, yeah. so you're all good then? Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Um, as far as the the, uh, the emergency management goes, uh, you know, I had a few contact. We had one person reach out to 211 so far, and I got in contact with them. There's not a lot more to do. To I mean, landscape repair around their house. Yeah. Um, but I didn't tell anybody, I didn't tell anybody here from, you know, make sure they reach out to 211 to get the, the process so that it all goes towards the more town damage assessment from FEMA because the more damage we have, the more funds that can become available to assist the town. Okay. Yeah, that's all 211 is for. It's just for the state. So when people call 211, they should also know that that doesn't help them in applying for any FEMA paperwork at all. Right. It, That's just for numbers for the state for funding. Okay. So FEMA is at the BOR. So if anyone needs help with FEMA, they are at the BOR. Thank you. They came to visit me this morning. Oh, good. So we'll see how that goes, too. All right. Have a good night. Good luck. Stefan. Yeah, so um I think Stefan had some had some damage at his house. So there is a um little funding campaign going on right now. Yeah, we, I I heard about that, but I don't see I didn't see it anywhere. So maybe on front page tomorrow. Sasha, do you know what the feelings on that? All right, is that something you just go look up, go find me, and then someone's name? Or uh, yeah, yeah, if you don't mind sending that out to us, just so we would have that. Um, I think some of the folks on uh, uh, Morfest got that today. Yeah. So 
Maybe it was a There was someone else, the other person on the committee. Maybe it was Lindsay. No, Lindsay and the other one that, what's her name? Um, Megan Schultz. Yeah, Megan Schultz. So, Sasha, what do you do? You have any reports, communications? Um, you know, I'm stuck all the day before all this stuff. Um, just wanted to follow up and um, I guess after talking, I guess they, it is something we just have to take away. Yeah, no, we, we always approve yeah. and do that. We ne but we did we ever see that though? I never saw a letter or it was an email asking for another time. They said that there is a meeting soon. Right, but we but did that get sent out to us at all or it's uh, no I've it's, um so he's looking to be appointed. We have a motion. <laughs> Where, who were we appointing? Neil Moss. Massa, 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 Massa. Make a motion. We appoint Neil Mostoff to the Recreation Committee. Second. Second. Callie seconds. Any further discussion? <laughs> Everyone knows Neil, right? He, um, you know Neil. He's been around for a long time. He's, uh, used to run around with a truck that said "Love the City" or something. Uh, the guy. Uh, all in favor, vote aye. 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 Yeah, pickleball is just thing. Um, actually, are you okay with that, Mark? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sorry. didn't say aye and he's being quiet on this. Just, just, I'll was, take that as a no, Don. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying. I'm sorry. Or? I just, hello. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, it was anonymous, but I think, I believe Neil and uh, someone else made our benches out of Okay. Um, oh, good. That's awesome. I can ask you about that. And then, so I, wonder, I have the invoice now for the money speaker account for the article yep. that we're doing on the stipulated thing with the office of the outright or somewhere. Um, <coughs> I think it may be capital reserve. That's all. Right. I think that would be a good place to start, right? It's capital, capital, capital reserve. Yep, I saw it was emailed and we have it here as well. Just take a quick. The next one's not going to be this pretty. Yeah. yeah. I think there is a problem with being a machine. I think we would be a problem with the yard and the lease and people parking on the lawn and renting the lawns. I feel like people don't have the right to do it. I don't know. Well, I saw a bunch of guys in there. Let me let uh, you know, talk to Martin and see if we can take a walk. Anything that we can put a barrier up or any kind of 
Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 or something. Curtain, you know, what's it called? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. They actually have songs that you can get with them. Yeah, yeah. it's something like that. You know, Captain yeah. Cat. I mean, you know, some kind of sign like that, plus maybe look at the parking or maybe the court. Yeah, yeah once you look at the signs, one. You know, the signs or something. It's, it's, Is something it, it's labeled no parking, right? That people just park there? Or? No. It's nope. labeled, but you should be parking. In the sand pit towards her. Really right, right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've, yeah, I know. It's not a good all thought, had thoughts and thought yeah. we might have solutions to move the sand pit. The sand pit is just not a good spot for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, um, based on wastewater thing happening, it really helps by uh, really looking at relocating that and having that you know, become a piece of land for the town. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Down the road, oh, let her give her reach well, back out to her, let her know that we are looking at yeah. signage. I'm going to take a walk down there and see if there's any possible way that we can do yeah, it. I have a sort of a site drawing that I'm working on as well. That we can bring that with us to what we need to do. Okay. And Sasha? I think that's all right. Okay. Um, Robin, do you have anything else that you need to uh, No, I don't have anything else. Well, I'd like to. Um, well, we were, one thing we were thinking of doing is having, we were going to basically bring in the class flow from the class flow and the trails back to the class flow. We, at one point, had talked about, I know we're starting to talk about the survey. We we're going to have a session with the planning board and the DRB and the select board to talk about that, you know, some different issues in town just to do a brainstorm. Mm -hmm. So, just wanted to throw that out there that we should maybe in the fall, we can, you know, summer's a busy time, and maybe something in the fall would be you know, revisit that idea. You know, we don't even have to decide that. Yeah, no, I think that's sometime probably in October, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, so that was one idea, and then you know, at that, you know, maybe at that, yeah, at that meeting, we could talk about how we could, well, you know, one of the things on the agenda would be just talking about how we can engage people in public service. And, you know, we could talk about that going forward. Yeah. And so I just was thinking about that the other day, and. Um, what other little piece of news do I have? Um, well, I will be talking to Chris Hunt tomorrow, and I'm going to ask him, if, you know, because he was a gentleman I met with about the crosswalk, and I filed a permit, and Ed Pierce told me I was I couldn't do it that way, so I was just going to revisit this again just to see, anyway, how we can work through that. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's that's Callie, you're online here with us. Anything that you want to share with us? Um, no, I think the road crew really appreciated on Thursday getting lunch. Oh, so <laughs> they really appreciated that. Um, so I know that may be something we should think about doing if this happens again, just so they have it. Cause I know on Wednesday they worked five or six to seven at night and none of them stopped for lunch. So, and something like sandwiches is easy. I know um, we did that in Berlin for our road and public works guys. They basically, we just got a bunch of sandwiches from Maplewoods and you know, they stopped, grabbed some, went out because they can eat them while they're working. So just no. something for them so they don't have to stop. No, that's a good, I think, um, 
we have money in that select board, especially that type of stuff. But no, they deserve it. And uh, from long days like that, certainly, I'm sure they they like that. Um, anything else, Kelly? No, that was it. I have to just jump back to one other thing. Um, so <laughs> we're underway with the scoping study for over the sidewalk. Yep. But one of the things that I just want to see if if I'm remembering correct, but when the town manager from Waterbury came, you was we were talking about the service. Yep. And all that. Mm -hmm. and he did. He brought up the thing about the the interest of maybe Waterbury connecting the wastewater system to fairgrounds and Gallagher Acres, right? their wastewater system. I don't know if you remember. If you weren't on. That was not my own. But he brought that up as something that maybe we, the town, would want to consider or something. I'm just curious how if that if it is something that could be considered, and if it was going to be considered, we have to sort of get it into the scoping study. Right, so right. Going traveling along almost probably the same side as the road as the sidewalk. Right. So I'm just curious. Is that something our wastewater committee could look? Should maybe they could look in or their hands are full, or I could go to call the Waterbury town manager and ask him. I don't know. I'm just trying to. Yeah, that's the thing. Why would we want to take that on? Well, it's the same reason we're sort of taking it on here because if people on a wastewater system is better than you know, all this big septic system. Oh, you know, oh okay. All you know, right. People would, would tie into a wastewater system. I get it. 40 homes or something. I'm okay. sure. I don't know. I just don't want to go through this whole. You know, while we're doing the scoping study, if, right. you know, you got to turn every over every leaf or yeah. rock or whatever. It would be a shame to all of a sudden, you know, we'll be maybe all retired from off the board or something. Ten years from now, someone will oh, you know, you know, yeah. You know? yeah um, so I don't know whether we should. You know, why don't you, Don, if you you want to do that, reach out to the new town manager over there and, and see if there's any. Interest or he knows anything about it. Yeah, as long as you're with a new town manager, yeah. you know, the guy who came in here that night. Well, I don't know. Oh, that's right. Oh, this part. Yeah, maybe I'll talk to Clark and see what he. Talk, yeah, see talk to Clark and see yeah. what's going on there. Yeah, and okay. then if there is interest. Um, maybe we could have them come in and present to us, you know, what type of yeah. opportunity is there. Right. I was wondering, how are they going to maintain that site in winter? Well, that's We're going to have to have our road crew put on a, a sidewalk call and a tractor. And well, you know, that's going to be something, yeah, we're okay. going to have to figure that out. Yeah. Right. Maybe yeah. someone there will do it. You know. Maybe okay. something. I, I, it just yeah. came to mind when no, I was no, thinking I about that, that project. I was like, yeah. wow, that's, you know, this is no, a yeah. small I task. I believe I put it as well. I mean, that's yeah. a half a day job for a guy to drive over there just to plow, you know, a quarter of a mile. And, well, we're going to have to just get someone over on that. Or yeah. try to get Waterbury to do it. Maybe they would fix it. Maybe it goes into their side. You know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was uh, all I had. Is yeah, I was like, we got to consider that too. No, it's, that, that's something that's know. ongoing. You know what I mean? We won't get any. We won't get any funds to do it. So. No, all those people are paying taxes, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they're paying the No, I, I mean, I'm not saying. No, no, no. I understand, yeah. but you're right. It's, paying taxes is not part of the sidewalk that we have to do. That's yeah. very far away from the village center. Yeah. And there's no, there's nothing comparable to that in the town, is there? Are there any other segregated no. sidewalks that are 300 no. miles from the village? Or <laughs> it's just a point. No, I, no, I understand what they are. Just yes, they're charging. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Um, how about the select board minutes for uh, July 10th last week? Uh, Where is it? 
Go ahead and sun out on your porch there, Callie. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the select board map of July 10th, 2023. Thank you. I second the motion. Seconded by uh, Mr. Campo. And any further discussions, changes, alterations? Yeah. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you all. Can we find out anything about that picnic area? Yeah. Bother to call the town. That was one of yeah. the calls that uh, Stefan went out. He was <laughs> yeah. at the fire station. He got a call from the Vermont Emergency Services. Picnic area was gone? I don't know that there was a car with some people in it. Oh, wow. There or oh, wow. He couldn't oh, wow. get there. He tried wow. to get there and he couldn't get there. He couldn't get beyond the. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that testing place there. Oh, well, really probably doesn't need mowing anymore. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Uh, all right, so we've got old business. Is there any old business that we uh, need to tackle here? Uh, the river road paving, I thought we had funds for that available. It's just the, uh, the Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's it for me. I don't. I don't see anything on old business that's going to take precedence over what we got already got going. Um. Yeah, there was a question here from Ken Ruby on the other sidewalk, but I haven't had a chance to read it, so I'm not going to do that tonight. Yeah. Um. And you, you um. Did you hear from anyone on the uh, junkyard? That was all taken care of. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Um, I think that's it. Um, is there any other new business that people have? Um, is there anything else new that you wanted to look at or talk about or something that hasn't been addressed? No, I'm, I'm good. So we're starting to get the gear up to, uh, for the next design phase of the town hall. So that's just another one of those things. Um, you know, forestry management, we're giving feedback to the plan on uh, Thursday, uh, next meeting is the 26th of uh, July. And um, the traffic so called committee, you know, we're working on. Uh, a letter to the select board about uh, the village speeds into the village and the speeds along the two of it. So I, I think that's a good choice now. So that's some of the yeah, people. the dropping yeah. down of the yeah. speed is a little sooner. Yes, and that'd be nice. All right, you know what's amazing? Just you, and you'll see it when I write this, is just a little side chatter. But when you get on a come out of 100 feet through the curves, there's a 50 mile an hour sign just after stepping back. And this, you see another one, this is going towards Middlesex. Yeah. There's another one just at, you know, after Stevens Brook. Mm -hmm. You do not see another speed limit sign until you get all the way to it where it tells you 35 ahead. There's no other speed sign the whole distance. And coming south, you come out of the, you know, under Route 100 B, you see have a 35 mile an hour sign, <coughs> you drive along towards the dam, and then it's 50 at the dam, and you don't see another 50 mile an hour sign till just before you're driving after well, Stevensburg. That's the next 50. Down. And then at 50, you, it's telling you still 50, and then you get down to Stephanie's or whatever, and it's telling you 40 miles away. You know, it's a 40 mile an hour zone. And we're wondering why people are going so fast. 50, right, right. Well, you know, it's. Doesn't make any sense. So that's part of the thing we're addressing in this letter that we would like to I'd like the that the trans transportation committee that Laura Gaines did the first, you know, that's what I that turned Yeah, on. they they she, used to have that it would there was, they would have a speed limit every so many miles. Well, yeah, and it seems like they just ignored us, that lately. And right. now it's just Remember he was telling us it's one like, to look at lowering speeds It's like for as long as till you get to the next one. But that's, you know, one, you know, I, I, th I, that I yeah. you know, on that, we've all been on that road for years and years and years. And the other day I finally went, wow, I can't, holy mackerel, no 
Water people. I, I mean, I, I think the state's position is probably that it's 50 mile an, an hour on all state highways unless otherwise posted, and they're just like, okay, well, yeah, what's it? Usually there's a few. There usually yeah, is, but I mean, they, you know, they don't, there doesn't seem to be any. Something anything. happens. Yeah, yeah like, something happens for sure. I wonder if it's like 89. So we have a public consent. Like their licenses? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so, mm -hmm. so. This AP, I didn't get a chance to put it all together, so I'll just pick up the warrant if you have any questions on it either. So. Mm -hmm. you Look at payroll stuff. Rich, sign off on it. Okay. Okay. In the future, don't you need me to come back and sign it? <laughs> I was doing that. Yeah, there were yeah. two board members here that night. That's yours. Well, I got sausages now, so. Oh. Two more Bliss Ridge liquor licenses? <laughs> how, do how do they do? How many liquor licenses do they need for a farm business? <laughs> For each, um, they have so many. Uh, it's a fun there you go. Sasha. Wow. I remember yeah. I signed on the agreement. All right, so it looks like we're in and out tonight. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night, and uh, I make a pass. motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Thank you. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Kelly.